Hey, welcome, folks, to uh, Sir Kings 2. I'm Gaventus, and I have not given you guys anything in a long and like a few weeks. And I felt like playing some CK2, so decided that I would record it. We are going to be the Kingdom of Navarre here. Probably saying that uh, name wrong. It's going to have basic settings, except uh, no, um, no Sunset Invasion. Iron Man mode will be disabled, just so I can save and stop whenever I need to. It's also very good if I am recording, just to make sure that everything runs good. Now, here we go. This is post-commentary, as you can tell by that freaking skip there. And me keeping on fucking talking. Um, now, the cool thing with the King of Navarra, uh, despite... Uh, so I'm being so small, we have a lot of good actually going for us. We have a lot of sons, right? A lot of sons, a lot of daughters. Which basically means we're able to just ally across all Europe, guys. We're going to be able to just get so many allies to carry our asses. As we go down further down our peninsula here and kill the Umiads. All right? But we need all of these garlings. Our fellow Spaniards over here, too, to help us. Gotta get them all. So that is exactly what we are planning to do. Just grab them all. All of these bitches, get all these alliances. Everything's all ready. Yeah, you get an alliance, and you, come on. You get to marry him. And now we are just ready to just completely go to war. Uh, get the king, get the kingdom of Aragon. God, I wish. I uh, get the duchy of Aragon. It's holy war. First one of many. <laughs> many holy wars. Because we gotta make a span, you guys. Raise up everybody. And then we go forth. Yep, come along. All of you, come along. Help me. Help me get all this land. Oh, and they are coming our way. Took them a while. But they'll eventually be here, right guys? They'll eventually be here to help my ass. Because there's no fucking way I'm, I'm beating them with as little troops as I have. I really need Italy and Bulgaria over here. Mainly Italy. <laughs> to help me out. But Italy kind of always starts with a war that they initially do. So they'll, they'll eventually come and help me, but... It'll take their asses a while to come to me. Let me just speed time back up for you guys. Yeah, going around, just checking our alliances, making sure everything's good. Marrying some more people. Make things more solidified. Help Austria. As I also find the Yumiads right now. Have a united Spanish front against the Umiads here. Man, we just have all of this. Let's look around Europe. Yeah, you see, the Umiads just have like 7,000 troops there. Huh? How do we become a top soldier? So, more Marshall for us, Italy and whatnot, they're still not here, it's August now. Ah, wife's pregnant, that's nice. More fodder for alliances, hopefully. Come on, you guys, get over here, I need you. Come on, Italy, Bavaria. How about you? You guys also want to join me? Aquitaine. Here, here, come join the alliance. There we go. Uh, yeah. Just ask them politely. A spy in 
that. Ugh. Byzantine, so I can get technology. Yep. Come along, come. Join the war. I could use... Ah! Uh, Styria's getting my ass kicked, it looks like. Probably gonna lose that fight. Yep, yep they did. Yeah, the siege is going rather well. Very smooth for us. Styria is coming towards us now. And Hungary has been formed, as it always is. New realm. We go our way across the map. The Kingdom of Brittany is coming to help Asturia, because they are an alliance themselves. Uh, but our boys aren't here yet. Italy is not here. <laughs> Come on, Italy. Doesn't take you that long to defeat that one Muslim nation right below you. It really doesn't. It looks like they're on their way, though. Yes, they're on their way. They're coming to save me. In this war that we have. Here they come. Across the mountain range. Let's get some better commanders. There we go. Quickly do that. Well, I mean quickly, I mean, uh, while well, the video is sped up. <laughs> you know, I'm really sorry to second guess, uh, just speeding up the footage. Maybe I should, maybe I should be up a bit faster, but whatever. That's for next time. Or I'll just have tons of skipping. That probably would be a thing. Yeah, just a lot of skipping instead of speeding it up. But how about we just stop the speed up for now and we just have the music. Because trust me guys, you don't want to hear the music and everything sped up. <laughs> Luckily I muted that those segments. Because, oh my god, it sounds horrible. But we get our chance and opportunity to duel and gain ourselves brave. And we're like... Similar, so I'll give it a shot and we win and we put him to death mm -hmm. yeah. Kind of a bit of a close battle actually But ah, we persevere we get Tons of prisoners, which we could sell later for money. Very nice. We chase him, let's go into there so we can actually uh, start sieging, have the footage sped up once more. Everybody, while well, we're still waiting for our allies. Actually, no, uh, Italy's with us. <laughs> That's how we won that fight, Gimbentus. <laughs> Pay attention while you're doing post commentary. Ah. <sighs> There we go. Oh, we get to be a leader. Ah, a direct leader is always the way to go for me. Direct or like siege. Siege the best. Troublesome peasants. Less money. That's not fun. The well, Yumiads are now weaker than our Asturian ally as well. Bulgaria is there sieging as well for us. It's going rather smoothly for us now. It was always kind of going smoothly. Because of the help of all these allies. Yumiads, no matter how strong they are by themselves, all of us together, we can defeat them and stop them from becoming a massive blob that will crush us all. <laughs> it's just me messing around with a freaking betrothal. I eventually accept, but I don't know why I kept declining it. I was the one who freaking put it in, into action anyway. What the hell am I doing? Oh, man. Put that, put that there. And we'll deal with him. Get better commanders. Another kind of close battle. Actually, no, this is not going to be close at all. Uh, we're trying, but... Uh, we, we're we're going to crush them. 
Yeah, we have almost 10k chirps. Yeah, so they're gonna be crushed. And then we imprisoned them. But it wasn't us that imprisoned them. It was freaking Asteria. And I was so confused at this point. I was like, huh? 100 percent Let me <laughs> let me win. But we could not, because he was not imprisoned by us. He was imprisoned by Asteria. Never had this happen before, for me. I mean, we attacked him first, but the Asturians were the ones that managed to capture him. So, well, you tell me what you'll get. So Asturia will be out of the war soon, and we'll just have our own war with our carling allies. So we're just going to be fine. No, it says I could ransom the prisoner and whatnot. Ransom prison. Execute in prison. I could re release and execute, but I can't fucking... God, that's stupid. Man. I just could not offer peace. Ah, oh, it sucked. And now he's out. Just makes the war a bit longer for me. I didn't pick that up the first time I played. Huh, I could have imprisoned and executed him as well. That means he was imprisoned by me then, huh? Well, now we get Aquitaine into the fight. It's even more armies. Yumi has are just screwed. There's no way they can bounce back from this. I mean, they'll try. They'll try to just run around, but they really can't do anything. Just cut them off here, kill them. Boop, 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 and the data. Hey! There you go. Keep sieging. And this is just one. This is so, so one. They have no chance. Yeah. Where are you going? Just running. Oh! God damn it. There I go. First king dies. Natural death. Well, King Fortune is now here. The one eyed king. With three fucking marshal. God, that's gonna put the cabinet back together. Three fucking marshal. Oh, it's so bad. But it's actually not that bad for me, because I'm not really using my own troops. I'm just using all the Carlings troops, so it's not too bad, because I just have the Carlings. Doesn't matter how shit my marshal is. All I have to do is just use the Carlings troops. It's not a factor for me, this marshal. At least for the time being. It's not, it's not a factor. Instead, let's just get some more proposals and whatnot. And we have to do a coronation now. Haven't had that before because last time I played CK2, that wasn't a thing. Instead, you just kind of, you were just crowned. You didn't have to do a coronation at all. I guess that's just kind of a recent thing that they added. Mob up the Yumiads. Accept proposals. There we go. Mob them up. Just gotta do like a few more sieges and then we're just done. Or we just mop up more Yumi ads. Like those ones over there. They're attacking the Bavarian army. There we go, almost there. And we get Siege Leader, which is fan fucking tastic. Siege Leader is just my favorite. Favorite thing. And we also have a faction led by this guy. The Duke of Aragon. That we're going to have to deal with. But we have the fucking Carling, so... We're going to be able to completely crush him. Yeah, now we've gone. We get the, uh... All the territory in the ship Aragon. Now we just have to divvy it out. Create various vassals for ourselves to... Run the various buildings, uh, like the cities and the temples that we can't actually run. 
And next time, we gotta deal with the uh, Coronated, and we also have to deal with this faction that is rising against us. But that is for next time, and I will see you guys then.